Hello city builders, this is Hubbub. Welcome back to Nouveau Springs on the Azure Gulf map in the Sunset Harbor DLC. It's been a minute. The last video I was working on ore special goods. Previously, we had set up this extraction facility for collecting ore out of the mountains here. And then uh, came over here and did some work on the uh, ore special goods facility. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, I'm not done beautifying. I'm not completely sure that I like this particular forest complexion. And I don't know that I want vegetation to be quite as thick out here as this, but we'll figure that out. So I want to do a quick overview of the special goods production facility for ore, because it's going to be reflected in how I organize the oil production facility. Um, essentially, I'm taking kind of a sequential layered approach. I have these production facilities that are just off the highway, not production, these storage facilities just off the highway for capturing ore that is being delivered from the mines over here. And then immediately in a kind of concentric way, the production facilities for special goods, which include glass and metals. Um, glass, 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 and then significant amounts of metals here. Um, and then closer to the cargo port here, some storage facilities for metal and glass then. And then this industrial steel plant. Now, I didn't think to put in a warehouse holding steel products. That might not be a bad idea to add that in. Where should I do that? I'll figure that out off camera. Um, but essentially, we're working from raw to finished goods so that we're minimizing road traffic between the different locations or points in the production chain. And everything then ends up being brought to the cargo train terminal, which delivers special goods or ore um, to factories that are off map at the moment or off camera at the moment. So when I start brainstorming how I want to lay out the oil facility over here, I've done a little bit of mapping with this dirt road, which corresponds to the oil fields themselves so anything inside of that dirt road is where we might be pumping oil um, I want to use a similar layered approach so the issue part of the issue in this video is there are certain things I think need to be backwards designed so I'm gonna pull the train over here somewhere so that I could set in another cargo cargo terminal um, and then that actually has to exit off to the highway not to the highway to the rail that's going off map <clears throat> and then there again needs to be some sequential layering of oil storage uh, between here which is where the oil fields are and that cargo terminal and then I'll need to build in significant amounts of special goods but my goal for this sit down is to try to get this pretty much fleshed out uh, off camera, as you can see, I've been working in some of the facilities, mainly because I wanted to get this industry area up to level five so that I would have some choice about which rigs I wanted to put in where because uh, some are going to make more sense in what appears to be a mountain setting and some rigs might make sense in a more flat setting so uh, i think maybe i should start with with ore i'm sorry start with oil uh drilling uh let me go over some of these facilities here what i've done is rather than have these right up on the road i've pulled off a little dirt road and then adding some rigs to the little dirt road here so there's a little bit of separation there won't be so much backing up of trucks but then using the vanilla oil factories to try to do some detailing so you can see here i have this little rig here but then right on top of it is uh, some oil facility that has zoned in 
and it makes for some nice detailing. So uh, then bringing in the fences around, I think I might want to pull this fence in a little bit. And the the terrain here is a little bit wackadoodle, so the fence looks really awkward there. Um, I haven't figured out quite how I would want to fix that. But then I want to bring this up a little bit closer. I want to bring this a little bit closer. So we have a more enclosed, fenced-in look. And then I want to see if I can bring in... Now this is going to get... See, I'm not going to be able to do that. But we can use... Move it to do this. So here's the thing. If I do that and then I bring move it... Drag that over there, drag this over here. Now we're looking good. And then the same thing over here. Oh, 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 oh. No, come on. Okay, let's pull that out a little bit further. I don't want to wreck anything as I'm doing this. Okay, so now we can take this, drop it right there this bring it over here okay so that looks much better and that makes for a nice rig similarly here also have done a little bit of zoning here um, so there's a little bit of detail these two are facing each other so these are all variations on a theme. That one looks almost the same, actually. I might have copied and pasted that. Let's see, I need more fencing in here. Oh, what happened? Did I just mess up my fence? There we go. Now, okay. Alrighty then. Same here. And that is not square at all. Okay, now, did I close this one off? I did not. Okay, let's fix these. Mm, there we go. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Okay, this one I already fixed off camera. You'll see we're showing not enough buyers. Now the truth is I have, there are trucks coming out that are picking up oil. It's just the distance is far enough that um, they don't pick up as often as might be feasible. But the flip side is that um, really, this isn't a place to have a storage facility. I could try to put storage in here. So I was thinking about maybe trying to put in an underground cavern because the footprint of that building is a little bit smaller. But, uh, you know, the goal here is that these look like mountain natural gas rigs. They're not oil rigs, but I'm, I'm being a little bit liberal here in my creativity. There may not be oil in the mountain. There's a oil shale in mountain regions, uh, but there's definitely natural gas in mountain areas. So that's what we're going for here. And then next steps will be to continue developing oil production over in this area. Let me see what I could do if I can put in a storage cavern over here. 
without too much damage to the landscape. just seems really infeasible unless see there's some flat area here some flat area here it might work to have a cavern right over here as we approach the highway that's flatter terrain and it wouldn't be entirely unusual let's see what we could do here Okay, that might actually work. I might come in here with more vegetation. Ooh, now down here though. Well, you will have bald hillsides like that every once in a while. Real problem is, let's see, if I bring this up a little bit, just a teeny mount that softens it up. Okay, so now that will hopefully help clear some of these these out more quickly. And I'll come in and do more beautification or more um, dotting of the landscape with trees over here. No big deal. I think I'm pretty happy with where I have all these barracks set up, as well as the facility, the maintenance facility. Uh, so we're doing just fine with barracks. Although this could be feathered a little bit. I don't want to mess with this lake. Every time I try to fool with water, it seems to be a disaster. So I'll figure out something to do here. Maybe we'll put some trees in on the shoreline that'll hide that a little bit. So what we want to do is... Bring in a nice big smoothing brush and soften all this out. Um, and then, I do think I'm gonna follow the terrain for this. and then bring that right over there let's see what does that look like okay that's not bad in my opinion and the only thing I'm wondering about over here is that we're going to put in more traditional looking jacks over here 
Although I want to see what it, my biggest bang for my buck is in terms of extraction. Small oil pumps, 24 a week. We're pulling 4,800 units a week. 8,000 for 48. What was that? 48. See, these are more cost effective. Where's my calculator? $24 a week, 4,800 units a week. But these ones, okay, so 8,000 divided by 48 is 166, whereas 4,800 divided by 24, wait a second, what did I just do here? 4,800 divided by 24 is 200. And this again was... Okay, so these rigs are actually, the small ones are actually going to have a better efficiency ratio. Now let's check these ones. The large oil, oil drilling wigs are pulling 9,600. Okay, so these are actually probably the best bang for the buck. Eight trucks. No. 9,600 divided by 80 a week. No, that's actually much, that's a lower ratio. Um, okay then, so these are the rigs that I want to put over here, the small pumps. So I'm, I may end up having to expand capacity significantly at some point because I don't know what this is going to look like when I get my unique factories running. Um, this, okay. Let's pull this cavern right over here. I don't know if that's exactly where I want it. Let's bring it right in here. That's the oil extraction. Uh, and then the next step in this process will be uh, special goods. Uh, now, I really don't know. I really don't know at the end of the day how much I might need to expand my capacity at some point, uh, given the amount of uh, petroleum and plastics I'm going to have to produce ultimately for ultimate. Holy smokes. 
Um, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all those trucks. And then and the spacing I put on these, I think is pretty reasonable spacing. Um, traffic flow is still okay. And, and I think the slower speed on these roads helps significantly. But good grief. All right, so I want to thank everyone for watching. That was the oil extraction phase of this set of Siri videos. Uh, in this longer segment in Nouveau Springs, we started previously with ore, and now we're working on oil. Um, who knows how far we'll expand our oil capacity in this direction. Uh, I still haven't, haven't figured out the needs that the unique factories will have. The next stage will be to add in special goods producers over here. Um, thanks again for watching. This is Hubbub signing off.